All right, gang. There's uh, something very unusual for me to show you. I collect uh, military, as you know, and uh, I picked up this Panzer wrap from a fellow out of Russia from uh, Moscow. And uh, so this this could have came from Kursk or Stalingrad or any of the great epic battles on the Eastern Front. This is rough. This is this is the kind of stuff you find in 2016, 2017. This is really rough. So I'm just going to show it to you. So there's a sleeve. There's the main body front of the tunic. And you can see here's where the buttons were. And for whatever reason, God, maybe it's grave dug. Who knows? But uh, who knows? I really, I have no idea. But uh, so that's the back of the front. And it's really rough. And that's an arm, another arm really rough you can see there's the hem i mean this is this is just as rough as it gets they don't get much more rough than that so that's how that would go this is really rough who knows what happened that's just a knockoff board and that's a knockoff that's that's an original but there you can see there's the main front of it and here is the uh here is the original uh collar and it it's a uh, it is really pretty neat. You know, who knows if uh, this was one of the one of the troops that uh, died at Stalingrad or went into captivity or who knows and they didn't get out of captivity until after 1955 with Adenauer, who was the prime minister of uh, of uh, German Federal Republic. And then here's the back of the tunic. It's really rough. I've just kind of put it where I, I think the pieces went. And uh, like this, this is a seam right up to here. If you have an original, you'll see it. And there's the back. So that is the back of it. And you can see that would be where the, the neck of the upper back is. Just, uh, and that's what it is. So, and then I just thought I'd just show you some more stuff here. This is, this could have been a, a tank. This is a Salido. This could have been a tank that the guy drove in. Who knows, you never know. And then uh, the, these did not come with it. I just I just collected these things, and there's another set of uh, collar tabs which are just like those. And then there's another set right there with the red or pink in the background. And this uh, these I, I believe these are original, but you know nowadays the fakes are so nice you just can't even tell anymore. Some infantry assaults. There's another Panzer badge. Any Panzer badges right there. 50, and I think that 75 could be a fake. There's another one. There's that badge. I'm really not an expert on uh, on this stuff. I just collect. But anyway, so there it is. Isn't that just absolutely amazing? I'd love to find an original wrap to keep for myself. But uh, so far, no luck. I don't have... Uh, I'm not ready to spend six, seven grand for it. These are... Let's hope, hopefully you can see these. These are Hoffman cards. Um, this could have been the, you know, this could have been the man right there. These are really neat. They make knockoffs of these cards too, so, you know, just be aware of that. If you collect them, but I collect them to keep. I don't collect them to resell. You know, I'd see that... Yeah. There's another one here. Really neat. Unser Wehrmacht Panzer. Right? Hard to see that. Yeah, th these were these tanks were so common. It would be my guess he may have been a guy with one of these kind of tanks. I think that's Panzer 1 or 2. With the long turret, you know, that's 3, right? Really neat stuff. I collect these cards too. So if you have if you have them and you want to sell them or trade them, let me know. Isn't that neat? Another, I think that's a duplicate. And that guy there. These SD. Oh, I want to say that was the SDKFZ, but it's not. Pretty neat. 
And I collect all these cards too. Right, yeah. Hard to see that one, there it is, okay.